right, we've already learned about how to find the beat in a piece of music. Now we're going to look at how to organize those beats within the piece of music. And the word that we use for that organization is meter. You may have heard that word used in, in uh, English class, when you talk about poetry, we talk about the meter of poetry. It's a, um, a pattern of strong and weak beats. So when you learned to read poetry when you were a child and you went la 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 you had created your own little metric pattern of whatever you were reading. So we use the same sort of system to organize the beats in music. So we're going to start with the two basic structures and that is putting beats in groups of two, putting beats in groups of three. Everything else can be made up as a combination of those two things. So let's start with a beats in groups of two. This is most of the music that you will hear. Our bodies are in two. We have two arms, two legs, two eyes, two ears. So that's sort of our natural metric pattern. So first we're going to learn how to conduct. So you're going to be a conductor for a minute. This is useful as you're listening to the music because it gives you a way to really uh, physically respond to the music and see what you're talking about in terms of the meter. So we're going to pretend we're conductors here and we have our little batons and I'll use this handy stick here. So this is my baton today. So when we talk about the meat, beat and the meter, we're looking for the strong beat in the pattern first. And gravity is strong, so down is always the first beat. So we would have down for the first beat of a duple meter and then back up. So down, up, down, up, down, up. This is something you can do even if you're sitting in a concert and you're trying to figure out the meter of a piece of music, you could do this fairly you know, surreptitiously under your lap there. You, know, you don't have to go big and let everybody know what you're doing. You can just sort of tap it to yourself. So let's listen to a piece of music now that's in this meter of two, which we call duple meter, D-U-P-L-E, duple. So duple meter, Pattern of two. So the thing to listen for first is where's the strong beat? So it's going to be strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak. I'm going to let you get started and then I'm going to join in and show you where you should be and you can make sure that you match. <laughs> You may even feel this. Chances are, if you were going that fast, uh, by the time you got done, your arm would have fallen off as a conductor. So. Um, it's okay if you heard it that way because you were still hearing patterns of two and that's not that's not a bad thing. But what we have to sort of feel is where, where's the really big beats of that? So it's not a big beat. Dum, 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 dum. That's more in tune with your body's natural rhythms. If your heart were going as fast as what we conducted that um, double time version of it, you would have been a candidate for the ambulance, I think. So think about where the big beats are, even if it's got a lot of stuff going on. So hopefully you were able to do that pretty easily. Now let's look at the other pattern, and that is what we call triple meter, groups of three, three beats. So again, we're looking for the strong beat, down, but now we've got two other beats to fit in between, so it's going to be down, out, and up. Down, out, up. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, you're not going to hear nearly as much of that in the music you listen to on a day-to-day -day basis, but you will hear it. There are plenty of songs out there that have that particular pattern. We're actually going to use one here that um, is from the country music genre. So figure it out. One, two, three, 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 one, two,
Okay, you see it has a very different kind of feel. If you imagined walking to that, the foot that's on the strong beat is always going to alternate because you've got one strong foot, then two weeks, and then the strong's going to be back this way. So if you try moving around to it while you're trying to figure out how to, to determine where the meters are, that might be a way that you can um, really solidify that for yourself physically. So conducting it, walking it, because if it's going back and forth, then you know it's in two. If you're going back and forth, but the strong beat keeps changing feet, then you could figure that it's in three. Let's try one more. You can add that up and down. Okay, surely you got that one as being in two, right? You got the duple meter in that. It's a march. A march is always going to be in duple meter because we've got two feet. We've got to go back and forth. Let's try another one. Find the strong beat first. Okay, that's a good example of triple meter. It has a very typical pattern that you can listen for. Um, pa, pa, um, pa, pa, um, pa, pa. If you hear that kind of pattern, you'll know you're in triple meter. A lot of my students sometimes think that um, just because they've got a long and then two shorts, that that makes it triple meters, like one, two, three, as in doom, boom, ch. Doom, doom, choo, doom, doom, choo, the beginning of We Will Rock You by uh, Queen. So, doom, doom, choo. They, they count one, two, three, one, two, three, but it's really one, two, one, two. Short, short, long, short, short, long is the same as long, 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 long. So be sure you're not confusing those subdivisions of things with the beat itself. Go for the big thing that's consistent all the time. It's not going to go thump, 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 thump. All right, let's get you a tricky one now. Let's see how you do with this one. Think you've got it figured it out? Let's see how it goes. I'm going to conduct it. You see if you got the same answer. So so we can see that this example, which is Jethro Tull, which is not recent popular music, but it's popular music from the 70s, is taking the, a, the two basic patterns we have, duple, triple, putting them together, making a five pattern, which gives you this sort of sense of being kind of off balance because we don't walk in fives, we don't, we don't function in fives. You go along very nicely, so it's sort of like you got a little hitch in your giddy up. So as you listen to pieces of music, even popular music is going to throw in those little little zingers where it's neither two nor three. Might be a combination of them. It could be two plus three plus three to make eight. It could be two plus three plus two to make seven. 
So listen to those things as you listen to music. The more you listen, the more you practice, the better you'll get at finding the meter.